I want to take a moment tonight to show a new gun that I just picked up to everyone. This is a Para Ordnance. This is their Para CCW. This is their 45 LDA model. Uh, what they mean by LDA is a light double action. Uh, now, the reason I want to show you this gun is because I just don't know if this gun makes any sense or not. And I was wanting to see if you think it makes any sense or not. Now, what's different about this gun from any other 1911 is you can see there's no hammer here. There's no hammer to be cocked back. You don't carry this cocked and locked. Everything else is pretty much the same. You know, the controls are the same. There's the same uh, safety here. And uh, once again, please bear with me here because I'm kind of getting used to doing new camera angles here, the new camera setup. But, uh, and I don't know if the lighting is going to be creating too much glare on the guns or not. But we'll see as we go here. But uh, one of the things I wanted to show you about the gun here and why I don't know if it really makes any sense is instead of being a single action gun, this is a light double action, LDA. Uh, what it does differently is once you rack the slide, you are not carrying it with the hammer back. You can see there's no hammer back. This is not a light single action pull now. You know, you can move the hammer somewhat, or the trigger somewhat, and it does not fire. Uh, what it is, is you push the trigger. It is a, as you can see, the hammer goes back when you are pulling the trigger, which is unusual for a 1911. This is a double action. Uh, it kind of works more along the line of a... You know, it works very similar to like striker fire guns, how, you know, they're kind of like half cocked once the slide goes back and then the trigger does the rest of the work. It's very similar to that because the gun doesn't have double strike capabilities. Once you fire it, you know, it needs to, the slide needs to cycle for it to reset. Now, my question about why this gun even needs to exist is not simply because of the mechanics of it. I mean, I can understand why some people would want to carry a 1911 in double action, but, you know, I would think, you know, there's already guns that have that that are much better for carry than a 1911. Uh, you kind of, it's not a 1911 really in the way it fires. You don't have that super light single action. So that's the one major advantage of a 1911 in my opinion. So I really don't see a point in this gun because for one, it's still not safe with the safety off because that double action trigger is very light. I mean, it's like I say, it's a light double action. You can very easily activate it with your fingertip. So it's not safe to carry unlocked you know even though you know with a good holster i guess you could say that well it's not gonna fire if you don't touch the trigger but it would be a, holster, a trigger that's easy to misfire while holstering or something like that but so i guess you could carry it with the safety off but i personally wouldn't but it just doesn't seem like it adds anything to the design it doesn't make it as good as other guns that already exist that are double action or light double action seemings you know striker fired guns and it kind of takes away from what a 1911 is in my opinion so I just don't see much of a point in it. I just didn't know if you did or not. Uh, I bought it anyway, so obviously I'm not that bright. But uh, I just want to hear your opinions on this gun. Do you think it makes any sense? Is this something you'd be interested in, or do you think it's a complete waste of time?